Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and today I'll be filming my top 7 for the month of March. I don't think I filmed a top 7 this year, which is so bad because I used to film them every single month. I don't even know why I haven't filmed one yet, or maybe I have, I honestly can't remember. But what matters now is that I am back and I have so many things that I want to tell you about and share with you and I'm really, really excited. My first makeup favourite is the Maybelline Great Lash Lots of Lashes Mascara. It has been my favourite for so many years and I think it will be a favourite for a very, very long time. I know that I've mentioned it in other favourites videos as well but I just adore it. I always come back to it. There are a few variations of this mascara, but the one that I like is the Lots of Lashes mascara. So it has a little heart at the bottom and it says Lots of Lashes and make sure that's the one you pick up because there's a few that are very, very similar that you could get confused with. The brush looks like this and it is just my favorite mascara ever and I love it so much and it's really inexpensive. And my second makeup favorite for the month of March is, of course, my MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in the color Beaming Blush. If you guys saw my MAC haul, you would have seen this, but basically it's a highlighter and it looks golden, but in other lights it looks pink. So it's like a duochrome type thing, but I've just like never seen anything like it before and I am just obsessed with it. I also like, oh my gosh, look how beautiful it is. I love highlighter. I feel like it'll always be my favorite makeup product because it's just so pretty. For my fashion favorite, I have some really exciting things to share with you guys and I'm actually wearing them right now. This is my new watch and little silver bangle that I received the other day from the Peach Box. And no, this is not sponsored. They're not paying me to say anything, but I have just fallen in love with this little duo that I have. I am a silver girl. I pretty much only wear silver jewelry. All of my rings and all of the necklaces that I've had in the past have been silver so I definitely love having some silver accessories around my wrist I just think they look so beautiful and simple I chose the black leather band one because I thought it would just go with everything and of course I wanted silver because it needed to fit in with the rest of my jewelry but I feel like the black leather band is like casual so that you can wear it with anything but you can also like dress it up and dress it down I feel like it looks really sleek and really like businessy if you want it to but you can also just chuck it on with like a t-shirt or something and it looks amazing and also the packaging was just absolutely stunning so this is the box that the watch came in so it like just comes out like this and the watch kind of like fits in there and it's just so beautiful it makes you feel like you're wearing such a luxurious product and my little silver bangle came in this box here so not only does it just come in a beautiful box but it also comes with one of the little dust bags so if you ever want to go traveling or anything like that you can just pop it in here I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check out the website but they have so many designs and so many beautiful watches and pieces of jewelry so definitely check them out. I also have two miscellaneous favorites to show you which I know this isn't a top seven because I keep showing you two of everything but I just needed to share these things with you. As you guys know I love to vlog. They're some of my favorite videos to film and definitely my favorite videos to look back on but my best friend Georgia recently started a channel and we've just been talking YouTube a lot and it is so great to finally have a really really close friend who understands what I'm talking about and all the technical issues and filming issues that you can go through but she showed me this little device and you're probably like, Rachel, what is this? This is one of those tiny little portable like tripods that you can get. It's really cool because the little legs on it twist around so you can wrap it around things. But literally all you have to do is pull these little hinges up and you can pop your phone right in there. So you can hold it like this and vlog like that. Or you can set it up on a counter and like pop it on there and it will stay up so you don't have to lean it against anything. Or you can literally just twist it around so I can like wrap it around my bed head or something like that. It is just so amazing. I've seen so many American YouTubers use things like this but I didn't know they existed in Australia but Georgia found this one and told me about it and I am just I'm so impressed by it it was eight dollars from Kmart so if you want to get your hands on it I definitely recommend even if you just like watching YouTube videos and you just want to like pop it up on your table or whatever while you're watching YouTube videos on your phone whatever you want to use it for is so versatile and so handy and my other miscellaneous favorite is definitely my new planner I am honestly obsessed I made this at personalplanner.com. I will leave a link down below and I think I also have a discount code for you guys. And no, this is not sponsored. They're not paying me to say this. I just genuinely love this planner and I told them how much I loved it. So they're like, hey, let me give you a little discount code. I do think it's only valid till the end of April. So if you do want to get your hands on it, definitely do that quickly. But you can personalize it however you want. So I personalize the front cover, the back cover, the little strappy thing, the layout of the insides. I chose to have a little like 
like monthly overview before the month. I chose the pages that were going to be at the back, so I just chose to have like note paper or blank paper. I have an overview of 2018. Like it is just perfect. You guys know how I feel about my organization and this makes it so easy. I'll show you like a close up of the front cover of mine. So I designed all of this. I um, got the little background here from Tumblr or Pinterest, I think. And then I just put the little words down there and they say be the light, which is like my motto that I live by. And then on the back cover is a similar watercolor type design, which I also got from Pinterest, I believe. And I put a little quote down there at the bottom too, which says put God first, work hard, be kind, because that's also a big motto of mine and it kind of keeps me motivated. But you can literally design it however you want. You can put photos on there, quotes on there pictures from Tumblr or Pinterest or whatever you want. So it's really, really amazing and I definitely recommend it. But those are my miscellaneous favorites of this month. Song favorites for the month of March, I definitely have a couple. Of course, I'm loving Ed Sheeran's new album. It is amazing as per usual, but apart from that, I've really, really, really been enjoying Issues by Julia Michaels. I just think it's such a cool song and it's very unique. It's not really very typical. I can love you just like that. I can leave you just as fast But you don't Judge me Cause if you did, baby I'd judge you too Cause I got issues But you got them too So give them all to me And I'll give mine to you I also really like All Time Low by John Bellion? The Lion? Oh, I don't know how to say it. I never know artists, I just know songs. Was the knight in shining armor in your movie? Put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now. Bye! Bye, the lion, try that I'm at an all time. Event favorite of the month definitely is moving out. I moved out earlier this month. If you guys want to see the vlogs, they are all up on my channel. I moved out from my parents' house and into my own house and it's kind of crazy. I'm actually filming at my parents' house right now, but that's just because all my filming lights and everything is still here and I don't really have a filming set up at my new house yet. I'm still working on a lot of things and it's it's a long process, but I really love living out of home. It's such an awesome experience and I'm just glad I have the privilege to experience it. My YouTuber favorite for the month is definitely Alicia Marie Vlogs. I don't know if I've mentioned her before in a favorites video, but I just really enjoy her vlogs. She puts a lot of effort into it and she's just a very bright and bubbly person. So I really, really like her vlogs. I think they're very, very interesting. And also her sister Ashley, I really love her vlogs as well. So they're just like a really great sister duo, you know? And guys, I have no idea what to do for my last like top seven thing. I used to do subscriber of the month. I used to do comment of the month, but those are just like, I feel like they just don't work. Like I'm so incredibly grateful for you guys. Don't get me wrong, but I just like, I don't know, they just don't really work in this video. So if you guys can come up with another thing that I could include in these types of videos, please let me know in the comments below. I would be very, very grateful. But thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Goodbye.